Today we're going to make Steve's Southern Fried Hush Puppies. Oh, Yummy. And they're so good. They are. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. And we have a recipe today that Steve would make all the time. I mean, every time we had to get together on our houseboat. Absolutely. Every party, we yes. would go out there for 4th of July's and we would have a spread of food and all kinds of stuff. Yes. And we had a platform next to us. We had the houseboat and this platform. Yeah, in. that's where the rain gutter grow water system where right. he grew all his vegetables. In fact, I got one of those. She's got one of those. You're, put that picture on there. I will. In fact, we got our peppers to go in this today from my garden and I'll show you a clip of that and if you like that that was Steve's brother Larry, Larry who Larry invented Hall. that and in fact you can see that video on Shotgun Red 1000 yes and on Larry's uh, and Yvonne Hall's uh, website hey Yvonne yeah she's got a YouTube channel and a Facebook page go check them out because it's awesome but anyway uh, so we're gonna make his special recipe and I'll even show some of that video footage while we're going along here so yes. all right so we're starting off with three cups of self-rising cornmeal and it needs to be self-rising he was right. very clear on that three cups of self-rising cornmeal in there and then we've got one cup i'm looking at my notes here and from his thing one cup of self-rising flour that we're going to add in there and we've got half a cup of sugar there you go sugar Just, she's like ding, <laughs> ding. <laughs> and we're going to do all the dry ingredients first here. And then we've got some onion. This is just uh, one cup of onion, finely chopped. You definitely want to make sure it's finely chopped. Oops. Better get all that oh. out of there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, get it. That get one, it, Sheila. That one's stuck. Okay. And then we've got uh, a corn. cup of, this is frozen, thawed sweet corn. And he put all that in there. Put your hands in here. Yeah, he did all these together. And then we've got um, our pepper. White pepper. Yeah, this is white pepper. One teaspoon of white pepper. And then I've got my little finely chopped jalapeno peppers that we picked in our garden. Mm -hmm. And just one tablespoon of that because we, 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 what did we say? We a little, little something spicy? A little spicy. You need something a little spicy. So I'm just going to mix this up and then I'm going to add some bell pepper in here. And then we've got some bell pepper. Now, this is a whole cup of bell pepper. Okay. I'm not going to put as much in there because we don't like it as much, but we are going to put some. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there just for flavor. Like I said, you don't have to do that whole amount. We don't like the bell pepper in as much as he did. And if you like anything else in your uh, hush puppies instead of what we've got here, just go just for it. Just go ahead and add it in. Anyway, we're going to mix that up. And once that's thoroughly mixed with the dry ingredients, we're gonna add in our eggs. eggs. We have two eggs that are slightly beaten. We got a. You get a little bit of that out there. Get that out that of there. one little bit is gonna make the difference. It is gonna make the difference, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get that out. Yeah. And then we've got a tea. Is a tablespoon or a tea? Oh, a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Got See, it. I'm reading my notes. And one cup of whole buttermilk. And I'm gonna do this a little at a time. I'm gonna mix a little bit and then I'll pour some, or I'll have you pour some more. Yeah. I'll have you pour some more, Sheila. I like to stand here and prop up. And I know. <laughs> you do that so well. <laughs> I know, I love that part. She's, I love my parts. No, she does love her parts. She's, I'm good. And then I'm, after it's over with, you're the one got flour all over. I know, yeah. I, I, I do the over the stove and then she start, she gets to film and just make, make the comments like the peanut gallery over there. I love it. <laughs> She's always making comments. But she did that to Steve too. Yes. Okay, pour some more in there for me, please. Yeah. And you do want these kind of thick, so thick and sticky. And that's what they're going to do. We've already got our oil heating on the stove back there. Look at my balls moving around like his was. She's the one that likes to cook, I mean, all the time. And I'm like the one that, you know, whatever. <laughs> she, goes, she goes to the grocery store and starts passing out cards to people and talking about the cooking <laughs> show. They go, oh, do you like to cook? And she goes, no. <laughs> Not really. She goes, no. She says, but but my partner does. <laughs> they, well, they, they get a kick 
out of it for some reason. I don't well, know. Because because they're we're right there. Ninety five percent of them are that way anyway. Well, yeah, I mean she's she, Sheila's like one of those like let's do quick and easy and yeah. you know and, and that's why, you know, Steve was always cooking. I mean she really didn't have to yeah. that much. I mean she would help prep all the stuff with me like she does with me, but she would just, you know. I'm more the one that likes to clean up. But she did have to clean up for Steve, didn't she? Oh my goodness. When we would do cooking shows, we had uh, all kind of dishes. I mean, all the way down the hall and <laughs> bedrooms and everything else. By the time we got through the with bedrooms. It, yeah, I lined up around there, and you wouldn't believe the plates and everything just laying on top of the bed. Pour the rest of that in there. <laughs> Especially at the houseboat. You were funny. All right. So we're going to get this all mixed up. We're going to take this back to the stove and show you what we do next. We got vegetable oil in here. We've got it heated up for 350 degrees. All right. So now Steve just used to just fling them off right in there. He said to be careful. It's really hot. Just take them. You see that consistency? It's kind of like a dough. They don't have to be perfect, but they should be kind of round. But he just did them in a spoon. I don't know how he did it. You can use an ice cream scoop. He was much better at it than we were. Oh, he had it down to a science. <laughs> he did. He had this down to a science. Don't laugh at the shape of my hush puppies now. now earlier, we, we fried up some fish to go with this. You don't want to overcrowd them, though, when you're putting them in here. Or you'd have one big hush puppy. <laughs> <laughs> you'd have one giant hush puppy. You would not believe the spreads that we had on these parties on their boat because he would have the whole band and everybody out all the time we would always go out every fourth of july every memorial day weekend every i mean just all the time all the time and thanksgiving it came out it, did, it didn't matter it came out on thanksgiving we all did all y'all even mama all, donna yeah, all did. of us all, we all we were always did. on there having a good time so and we're putting those on a paper towel to drain because that's the way you do it it's almost done not that's quite. the way uh-huh that's the way this one's done we just use that little slotted spoon to get it out of there. You gonna try a little piece? Yeah, I'm gonna try okay. a little piece. She ain't gonna wait. <laughs> She's just... Mmm. -hmm. Yeah. Mom, you're snacking too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're not even gonna wait. <laughs> they're, they're like, nah. <laughs> we miss these hush puppies. Mm -hmm. That's why we decided to do this Perfect. this week. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even gonna get through the video. No. By the time we get to the part where you see these, there won't be any. Mm -mm. All right, so we have to admit that we tried this like while we were cooking it. Yes. It's absolutely delicious. And Donna was over here and she would be handing me one back behind. She was <laughs> instigating. She goes, Oh, well, let me just try a little piece while we're trying to make sure it, oh, oh, it tastes it's so good. good. Oh, it tastes good. <laughs> Trust us, this tastes oh. delicious. Mm. These are so good, and you are going to love this with your fried chicken or any fish fry you've got mm. going on. And we know you'll love this recipe because we always loved it. It's one of our faves. So, you ready yes. to try it? I'm going to try these right All right, I'm going to just like, I'm oh. going to pick one out of here. We're and going. then just look at this. Check this out. Uh, look. All the stuff that's in it. See, now that looks delicious. You just break that open, and you can see all that goodness in there, and oh. Mmm. 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 Mm. And I'm not going to smash this. No. I smash about everything I get. They're so light and fluffy and crunchy on the outside. It's so good. I like to do this too. Put, you know, put some slaw on there. Uh-huh. Uh, you are going to love this. Well. I'm going to eat some more. She's going to eat some more because they're really good. Mmm. Aren't they good, Mom? Yeah, they are tender on the inside, <laughs> crunchy. Tender on the inside, crunchy on the outside. Mm. Yum. Yummy. Mm. Well, as Steve would say, are these the best southern fried hush puppies? If, if they, they ain't, they, they ought, ought to be. be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Bye. All right, we're going to eat some more. Yeah. I'm going to try some of that slaw on there, too. That, oh. looks, that looks really good right there. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. 
That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe. Then you're subscribed. Next to it, it'll be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.